The mansion has stood since the 1620s, a witness to a very long history of joy and pain. After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, the great house was eventually left uninhabited and goddamn suicide. That's a very touchy subject, I'm sorry. And that is when it began. Surrounding villagers villager spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly things, of cries, howls, filled the nights and a hearsay of a mysterious woman roaming the hollow halls aimlessly. It's like a rattlesnake. Rose? Oh, that echo. Oh, oh, maybe this place is being, oh god, I don't like the echo now. Rose, I'm here. Where are you? I don't like that. Rose, please don't tell me you stepped in with Rose. Please, please don't jump out of the corner and be like a dead body doing this. Rose, answer. The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. Oh, oh, oh. That's a hundred times worse. They think I'm cuckoo because I, I believe in curses and ghosts and all that. And me and my outlandish backwater country beliefs, they said. I've always strived to be the model employee, but not this time. Nope, I'm out. That's it. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm turning back for the sake of my sanity. Briar Realty uh, <laughs> can find another agent who is more fucking realistic to tour people around this haunted house. Before leaving, I take one last look at the glimmer. Fuck that. No, I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. I say that all the time. Just to check. Why would I check? Huh? What's this? Oh god, we found something. No, please, fuck. No, no, shit, this is gonna be the, this is the downfall right here. Watch this. This is when shit's gonna go real bad, real quick. My worries about Rose's whereabouts must have caused me to miss miss it when I first entered the room. Oh god. But there's a clear, but there's clearly something on the floor. It looks like a letter? a letter. Oh Jesus, the name of the game is the letter. Oh Jesus, don't don't do this. Don't do this. The letter is the curse bit. Watch. The letter is going to be the curse. And I'm going to be like, God fucking damn it. I read a letter and now I'm in a place and they're going to try to kill me. <sighs> Lying on the ground just a couple inches away from my feet. Out of sheer curiosity, I lean down and pick it up. Strange. I don't recall seeing this last time I was here. Yep, it's it's the the letter is gonna be the gonna be the curse. I'm gonna try to call it out right now. A few days back, me and a few other agents inspected the mansion to prepare for today. Hell, I would I would come in here with a whole goddamn squad, or squadron. Fuck fuck a squad. Squad's five people. Give me a squadron. I'd fucking twenty or hundred people. I had been the last to look inside the attic and leave, and it certainly hadn't been here before. Someone must have left it in the room since then. Don't read it. Did Rose leave this for me? Don't read it. Was this here a while ago? Again, don't read it. I could have missed her, though, could I? There's only one set of stairs leading to the attic. The letter isn't exactly in pristine condition. In fact, it looks rather ancient, so it's older. We know it's not her. Put it back down, and we're going to leave it there. But the paper is so thin and rough, I'm worried it'll fall apart if I if I so much as touch it. Don't touch Then you open it. But with great care, I open it, and what I what I read shakes me to my core. Why the fuck would I read it? Why the fuck would I even? Oh god, the letter's gonna kill me. What? What? Oh, I'm gonna oh die. My god. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nothing but the words help me fills the page. All of it seemingly written in crimson shaded pen. Yes, it's a pen. It's a pen. That's what it is. Not because you know every pen leaves smudges in the finger fingerprints and um. Blood marks, you know, just all the time, and like, yeah, yeah, def definitely a pen, definitely a pen. Also, crimson, my f crimson is my favorite shade of red, by the way. But still, Jesus Christ, no, I'm happy to see crimson, but no, don't do uh, or blood. Yes, it's blood. We, f what the fuck else could it be? Again, what pen leaves blood stained fingerprints on the fucking thing? I gulp. The same phrase just goes on and on until. Send this to five people or else. Oh God, spam emails is the curse itself. <laughs> okay, that, that killed me, sorry. Send this to five people or else. Yeah, it's, it's like a spam letter message. Oh, so if I don't send this to five people, I'm gonna die? Ooh, that's bad. Or else what? Or else what? 
right? Death. Death is what? We're gonna see like somebody try to kill us right now, right? Let's go ahead and scan, uh, scan the back of the paper and peek into the envelope to make sure I'm not missing out on the second page. But there's nothing. No. Oh, please, no. And someone's gonna show up. Hey, how you doing? So, um, you better, uh, you know, you better, you better send this to five people. Why? Cause you will die if you don't. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Just, just, just chilling. Just make sure. I just, I just wanted to know. You didn't have to warn. You didn't have to threaten me. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. My hands tremble as, as the dread uh, creeps over me. The room is suddenly getting colder. Oh, yep, it's about. We're about to. We're about to be greeted by a ghost. A ghosty poo. I need to get out of here. Folding the paper in half, the sight that greets me. The next has me frozen on the spot and i told you <sighs> okay i told you we're gonna be greeted by somebody god damn it god damn it um i can't tell if that's an old foot or just muscle tissue of an old foot either way i'm not happy with this folding the paper in half the slightly greets me has me stop a pair of blood soaked feet enters my field of vision Covered in gaping wounds, with skin eaten away to reveal flesh, bone, and all manner of things. One isn't meant to see. I mean, doctors see it sometimes, but like, still, you are correct. It's too much. Um, let's just, uh, we're gonna put the paper back up. We're gonna fold that, uh, unfold it, and, um, if we, maybe if we act like we never saw it and slowly back out of the room, they won't, nothing will happen. All right, let's just walk out the room reading it. Acting as if, you know, like, we, we want to read every single line that says, help me, all right? All of it is too much. I want to cry, call for help, but the but the words catch in my throat. Even my feet won't move, completely paralyzed out of terror. I'm going to be brave and look up, but I feel like I'm a to Can I save? Save. Real fucking quick, because I, I feel like I might die here. I don't want to close my eyes and pray, because nothing's going to happen if I do that. Please just be a random legs that fall down from this healing. I need to face it. Whoever, whatever these feet belong to, I need to face it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. It's better to look, my, look it in the eyes, at least. Maybe it'll talk to me. And, and if I'm going to die, if they're going to kill me, at least I'll know what my killer looks like. Exactly. A cold comfort, that's true to some extent. Okay, come on. So with a deep breath, I summon every ounce of courage. I love him and shift my gaze upwards. Oh, 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 no. Please, please, please don't hurt me. No! That thing has scrambled towards the door. I struggle to open it, but it won't budge. Why now? Why won't it open now? My heart sinks as reality dawns in. I'm locked in. Locked in with that thing. It's like a grudge. Let me out! Let me out! Lord, please! Let me out! Slowly approaches me as I, as I reach the door up. Finally back and forth. Come on! It's gone. Oh, oh god. I didn't know I was gonna need my keyboard. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Oh, oh. I didn't know I was gonna need my keyboard. My keyboard was all the way on the left side of my monitor, like out of the way. I had to literally reach over with both hands to hit Z. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was not ready for that. I didn't think I was gonna need my keyboard. I thought about it too. I was like, I might need my keyboard. I was like, nah, I won't, right? It's a visual novel. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna need my keyboard. Oh, that was luck. Okay, I almost died. I almost died. That's great. It's gone. Where is it? Uh, and the room changed too. Let's uh, not forget that. Ah! Okay, so I was slow. Yes. Okay. This time I got it. Oh. Oh, see? Okay, I fucked up because, my like I said, my keyboard's on the other side of the room. I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that. Oh, please don't, please let me get away this time. Yes. The door finally swings open and I couldn't have been happier. Fucking slide down the stairs, jump down the stairs, jump out the window. Fuck. 
My feet pounding against the floor with a rhythm, fast beating on my heart. Run out the door, I'm out the door. I'm out the door, I'm out. By the time I run past the hallway, I find myself atop the grand staircase. My chest feels so tight like it's going to burst. But that's nothing compared to the feeling of hope the sight of the exit gives me. Racing down the stairs, a brief, a breathy, uh, a breathy laugh escapes me. And my shoe slips and I find myself falling. Until my back hits the ground and pain racks my body. Oh my god, come on, girl. Mm. Give me a second. Mm. Oh, girl, come on. I'm gonna need to drink some tea. I'm, kill like, I'm killing my nerves here. Oh. And it's, it's one in, about to be one in the morning, Jesus. This girl got me over here scared for my life. Right. No. Go away. The last thing I see are those feet before all I know is darkness. Oh God. Da da da. Please don't let me die. A buzz breaks the silence. I start to ru ruse, pulling into consciousness against my own will. I've never felt this tired before. I just want to sleep, but the insistent buzzing, poking, and prodding isn't letting me. My old mattress may not be the comfiest of places, but that doesn't make me any more eager to wake up. Oh, uh, did I? Was it a dream? Please. Five more minutes, Becca. I swat away at what is nudging persistently in my side. So, oh, okay, please tell me that was was it all a dream? Can't I just have? I, I can I just get a few extra minutes of sleepy time? Today, I promise I'll work hard once I'm, I'm up. A hand lightly taps my cheek and something cold is suddenly pressed at my back of my head. The icy sensation slowly spreads throughout my area, giving me a comfortable feeling. Okay. Yes, I can hear. Rose? Please be Rose. The fog immediately lifts from my mind and the moment I recognize the voice, my eyes snag open. Doom. They're looking down at me. Is Rose? Another woman loiters by, beside her, but my attention is too focused on my co-agent to even ask why there's someone else with her. Rose's posture just screams worry, although she's keeping a straight face or trying at least. Uh, what happened? I fell down the stairs and we need to talk. We need to talk. Okay, that's what needs to happen. We gonna have to have a huge talk about this. I can't help but feel bad for making a friend. A wave of dizziness washes over me as soon as I try to get up, forcing me to lie back down again. Luckily, the feeling subsides after a few seconds until only a mild throbbing somewhere at the back of my head remains. With a little assistance from Rose, I push myself upright. She hands me an ice pack and gestures me to press it while I suppress a small bump uh, while, where I suspect a small bump has already formed. It ha if the light ache in the area indicates anything. All right, Isabella, where are we? You know where the fuck we are? What are you talking about? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October, was it? Give me a second. <clears throat> It is October 17th, or is it 8th at this 21st? This is 21st. While looking for, okay, yeah. No, 21st of October. October 21st? Oh, th this is going to be really bad. Oh, oh, wait. Did she lose memory? First off, uh, second off, wait, 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 wait. Does this mean? Or we're brought to an alternate reality, but also wait. Don't tell me we're gonna end up in this place and on Halloween. Please don't be Last that way. One. Can you count to fifteen in reverse order? Yes, yes I can. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve teen. No, that's twelve. That's Why are we doing this? Like twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right? Zero. She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. Okay. This time, I curiously regarded the woman standing beside Rose. It's impossible to overlook her with what, the way she's tower towering over us. And here I thought Rose is already tall. Who is she anyway? One of the remaining cleaning crews? Or a nurse? She looks more like a detective. 
But with how primarily, uh, pr primarily dressed she is, I don't think anyone would want to clean it in a suit. An expensive suit at that. The gloves alone must have already spent, uh, cost a fortune. Sorry. Her eyes slowly shift between me and Rose, considering us with an almost unreadable expression before I finally fix it, uh, before finally fixing a sharp gaze on me. I can't help but fold my arms protectively over myself as she does so. She may be far from a cleaning crew, but she certainly looks like our supervisor during Just evaluation. Do it, please. I eye them both warily, but recite everything as she asked. Rose releases a breath of relief once I'm done. <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. No, no, I can spell. I mean, count. <laughs> Are you alright? I, I swear I'm alright. You know, I just, I just spelled my alpha, my uh, my uh, my numbers right. I spelled all the way from fifteen to negative ten. Like, all right, yeah, a little bit. Exasperation soon replaces the dull ache. The memory of a little, uh, a little fuzzy, but the attic. There. And there someone rose in the, in the attic. attic. And she's gonna be like, "The fuck's wrong with you?" She go about the fuck you. You lying. You lying. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna die, and then I'm gonna have a letter. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. The letter. The letter. The letter's gonna show up in the middle of nowhere. Oh God. Someone. I'm gonna be like. The client. No. That's unlikely. It's probably just one of the cleaning crews. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like pulling some random shit. I'm gonna be like, oh, and go in my pocket, find the letter, and be like, oh, fuck. Shit. That or I'm gonna forget about the letter, and then <laughs> the letter's gonna be like, "Hey, how you doing? You remember me, right?" Well, the person's gonna be like, "You remember me, right? Remember the letter too, right?" Uh, you didn't. Uh, you didn't do what it uh, what it said here. Um, you might need to. 